Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten here, and we are back with the next in our series on using Pygame to make a platformer. At the end of the last video, we left you with this point where we had imported our PyTMX world that we'd created using Tiled Map Editor, uh, and we'd resized our sprites, but uh, we were still not interacting with the world that we had imported yet. So today we will get this, uh, get the world to move as we move around it, uh, and then uh, next video we will start uh, landing on wall on the floors and walk around the, and that kind of thing. So let's get this world offset situation sorted out. Now you may recall that we created this variable last video world offset and we just set it to that default value of zero zero and I suggested that we were going to use that to indicate how we wanted the world to move as we moved our player so let's get this uh, actually doing something so you remember that we uh, provide it as a parameter to our blit all tiles function and we I think we demonstrated even how it, it worked, uh, how it um, moved our player around. So what we're going to do is down in this section of the code here, this is where we were constraining ourselves to stay within the window. Uh, and so what I mean by that is when I walked over to the right hand edge, that is the code that's stopping me from uh, walking off the edge and same as when I walk over to the left hand edge that's stopping me from going past the edge there uh, because we're saying okay if my x tries to become less than zero then we're setting it back to zero and if my x tries to become bigger than the width of the window then I set it back to the width of the window minus the width of my character which is now only 25 which is why we saw that little bit of a gap there so this is the part that we're going to change we're going to change this so that uh, instead of necessarily constraining ourselves within well we, we need to keep the X and Y obviously of our player within that player uh, within the dimensions of the window but we can also use that to trigger change to the world offset uh, so the way I'm going to do this is I might put in a little bit of a safety margin because uh, we want to see how the world looks prior to encountering it. Um, if you think, for example, if I move here to the towards the left, you don't want to be walking, only seeing the, the world to the left of you as you're right on the edge of it. Right? You could fall off a cliff and or walk into lava or anything like that. So you want to be, you want your player, you know, once it kind of hits around this point here, you want it to kind of st st start moving the world at, and to see what's ahead of it. So we're going to change this to be, um, and we're, we're dealing with what we're dealing with in increments of 35 now, aren't we? So if we we make this, uh, let's see, 35, 70, say about 140. That that's uh, a couple of blocks. Uh, that's that's four blocks. So if I do that, that'll now mean that's now my left edge and that seems like a good location for that uh, and I'll do the same for my right let's make this uh, it's 140 plus the extra 35 for the width of or 25 sorry for the width of the player at the moment uh, so minus 140 minus 25 and we'll do the same here um, I mean, yes I could turn that into 165 but hey let's just let Python do the math for me uh, and so that's going to be my right hand edge there and that's my left hand edge there and we'll have to do the same with our y values as well so let's make that have a barrier of 140 140 and we'll just minus 140 off of this all right not that we can really test the y coordinates at the moment now so this this will this creates a constrained movement window within our screen uh, but then the other thing we want to do is so if we're hitting this constraint then what we want to happen is for the world to move 
So that what I'm going to put in here is a new line and say world offset uh, and the x coordinate is location one inside this list. And if that happens, if I'm if I'm trying to go off the left edge, then I want to increase my world offset by ten. Now it, I need to remember whether it's pluses or minuses to go left or right. Um, so we'll do what any good programmer does, and rather than going through my code to work it out, how about we do a test run and uh, see if we need to switch it. And so I'm just going to say, let's move the world 10 pixels to the left, or 10 pixels to the right, respectively. Let's see what this does. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've done something to change my player to be falling, but... Huh? Why? Ah, I, am, I changed number one here for a start. But I think that, hang on, I think that left was working correctly, wasn't it? So if I go that way, yes, okay. Now at the moment we're moving off of the edge. We don't want that to happen, but we're, we're gonna make this wall solid at a later point. Okay, so there's my left and right moving. Uh, and the same that will work for my Y coordinate as well once I have my player interacting with the world more and kind of jumping off of platforms and everything else. Uh, so that's actually all that we need to do for this video to get our world offset working. Uh, well, except to do the same for the Y coordinate, sorry. So world offset uh, for the Y. So Y was location one. And uh, in the same way here, so this when we're coming off the left edge, all right, we're checking less than a minimum value we're doing the plus so we'll treat the same here on the Y and then do the same here world offset number one can be subtract 10 every time uh, and that is this video done next video we will sort out some basic interaction with our world environment this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out